Hello everyone, it's Muhammad again and welcome back to another episode in making 2D game using Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode we will start making our enemies and I prefer to say enemies rather than saying AI because it's 2D game and mostly in any 2D game there is no AI as, as it should be, it's just enemies going left to right or something like that it's very simple but yeah we can do it with some with some different way so I choose two of the enemies in the game um, I selected this one which is called claw and I selected the other one which is called monster which is the most famous one in the game so I'll be making th this in separate episodes, so in case you are a beginner and you want to practice and uh, watch the video and apply what you have watched it, so uh, I'm making in two separate videos, because basically also, every enemy I will be making it with a different method. So, anyway, let's start with the most simple case, which is the claw enemy. Oh, let's open first here our level. So I believe this enemy should be somewhere here according to my sketch, which I totally lost right now. So it should be somewhere in here. So let's first put the pipe here. So where is the environment and items and let's put the pipe here. Or maybe it's more easy if I delete this pipe. Whoa, sorry. If I duplicate one of these. And just change the sprite to pipe. Here. So just to keep it in the same Y position. So I can jump to perspective. Focus on this. And yeah. Be a little to the front. And I need it to be somewhere in here so that I can see it clearer. So this is a pipe and let's make a small blueprint using our claw animation which is this animation. I don't know why it's not running. Come on. Render. This is... Not all of them working. I don't know why. What's the reason? Anyway. Let's select... Oh. It's working. So let's select this guy and press make a blueprint using this one and put it here in blueprints and call it just claw, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's select this sprite and I want to make sure that there is collision overlapping everything because basically this is how we are going to detect the character touching it and one more thing we can do it as well to make sure from this behavior so I need to open the player blueprint Tim and inside his capsule I want to check something here to make sure that yeah overlap events is, is working fine if you can see it here yeah generate overlap events so now we're making sure that there is interaction will happen between Tim and the claw so close this one and let's go back again to our claw so basically it's it's have pretty much everything let's just drag and drop in here uh, yeah, for some reason, I don't know what's the reason, uh, some uh, some sprites will not render in the viewport right now. I don't know why, but it, it was working in the in previous tutorials, but now it's not working. So if, if I drag the sprite itself, not a blueprint, let's drag the claw itself. It's fine, because it's not animated. But if I drag the, the animation itself, it's not rendered for some reason so anyway it, it doesn't matter we can fix this issue so for example we can select the, the blueprint here where it is the claw blueprint 
and we can add something a little tricky. We can add here a sprite or it's called flipbook, not flipbook, okay, it's called paper 2D. Yeah, let's add a paper 2D and let's select claw. Select one of these. Mm, this one is good. So it's it's just just one frame. It's not moving. And for this frame, I'll say okay. This one is hidden in the game. So basically now I can see how it looks like, where it's the position. I can see the size. But if I run the game, it it will not run. So if if we try to copy this, let's uh okay. Let's keep this one in here and let's put a new one here, near to the start position. Let's put a new claw here. So, yeah. If, so now it's stationary, but when you start, it's working fine. So it's a little tricky, but yeah, we have to find a way around the issues if we cannot solve right now. So let's select the blueprint again and let's put it in here. Let's move a little to the perspective. And yeah. It should be behind the pipe. Okay. Here is the thing. I'll be moving it here. Or I have a choice to just put the, this little guy here and then make another collider invisible collider to detect the interaction between the character and the planet itself so let's keep this one here it, it looks fine here and let's jump to this okay it need to be resized a little yeah so it's fine now Okay, just to make sure it's it's not going to be scaled up again when we start again. Just put it here and see if it's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same. Fine. That's good. Let's come back here again and let's select this guy. Put it little here and then we go to matinee. Or whatever it's called and okay no undo and when we start let's add a new empty group and let's call it uh, mm, claw animations or whatever and come here and select our claw go back again and let's add selected actors and you'll see this little camera came here and let's add a movement track. So now you can see we have a new track here called movement with the claw animations. And let's set our duration here to let's say 6 seconds is fine. Because our animation will be on 3 steps. So 6 seconds is fine. 2 and 2 and 2. At the first frame, let's put keyframe here and keyframe on 2 wow it's very laggy but yeah okay almost 2 and keyframe on 4 and finally a keyframe on 6 let's come here check our claw it's already up So let's start the first frame and last frame would be almost the same. So let's say our claw would be in here, for example. And then here and here are the same and here should be down. So if we play here, ok, 
cannot see it. Stop. Okay, it's still down. Maybe we need to change these two keys. It's not changed it automatically, so let's come here. Zoom well. And let's. Oh, it's already here. And this one. It's fine. So let's play. Okay, it's fine, but for some reason I cannot see the update on my viewport, but I don't know what's the reason, but it's, it's very laggy today. I don't know the reason behind this. Okay, let's come here. Yeah, it's very laggy, but you can you kind of get the idea. So yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm cool with that. So if we start playing, <laughs> uh, wow, I cannot move now. Let's uh, try to see it from here. Let's. Function F10. Function F10. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Let's do something good. I'll try to duplicate, but I'm not quite sure if the animation will still the same if we duplicate and move this thing here. But in case. Let's see. Okay, let's delete this and let's change our start point to be somewhere in here. Yeah, so it's not working now. Maybe it's not working because we are not giving a command to play this animation. So let's select here our matinee which holds this animation. And let's go. Okay, let's go to the level blueprint and get get a reference for it. And because it's a loop animation, so let's set loop state. Yeah, it's a loop. And after that, let's play. And everything will happen on begin. I think now it should move. So it's. Yeah, it moves. It's beautiful. It needs some fixes, but yeah, it holds for too long. Yeah, it should stay like 2 seconds down and 2 seconds up, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, first, I think we need to put this pipe little down because I can see this thing while moving. And second thing, I think we we don't need any more the, the fake sprite, it starts to render again, it's a little <laughs> crazy here, but okay, it's rendering again. So let's come here first and select our it's a sprite and let's remove it. Yeah, it's removed. So let's fix our animation quickly. So it means we need one more second here, which means total of seven seconds. Okay. 
in this last second it will hold in the same position so let's add a key and let's wait stay go down stay okay it's locked maybe the reason because this thing it should start from the bottom first so let's drag it let's remove all the keys first okay let's delete all the keys and let's set up the animation quickly again okay let's start putting this down far away down and let's add a key here move two seconds let's add another key and move it up Think up to here is fine and it holds for two seconds so let's add a key and stay in the same position and then it takes two seconds to go down stay in six go down again And finally it stays for two seconds, not just one second. So this should be in here, an eight. And then it should be an eight. Just need to put a key here for the down position. And it should stay in the same position, so I put another key in here. So it's still down, it's up, stay up, it goes down again. So let's close and save and play. So, yeah, it's the correct behavior. So it was my mistake from the beginning to start with the up position, and it does not make any sense to start from up and then go down but it makes sense to start from down and go up like Super Mario or something so we can run and of course you can jump it will not harm us now but yeah later we're going to add colliders and we're going to fix the jump make it higher until we finish just we just need to finish all the enemies and then we keep focusing on the gameplay logic so yeah it's fine adding the collision itself it will be on the gameplay logic episode so till now we finished this episode and looking forward to see you on the next episode where we are going to make the monster animation it will not using matinee at all it will using a totally different way more flexible and give you the chance to put through lots of enemies with different animations at the same time without using any animation from Matty. So looking forward to see you in the next episode and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And yeah, subscribe and like and share with your friends if you like. And yeah, that's cool. See you. Bye.